My name is Keiko Aikeda from Japan.、Uh, I'm now working in International University of Health and Medicine,、uh, Department of Physiology. I'm a professor of physiology. Actually, I, we, I and my collaborators are making And analyzing knockout mice for ATP1 and A2 and ATP1 and A3 for around 20 years. So, before these genes are identified as a causative genes for neurological disorders. So,、uh, why I'm here? Because we are investigating what's wrong with these mice. So, maybe provide some hints for patients. Um, treatment, yes. So,、uh, 10 years ago, we found that the knockout mass for ATP1A2 g a v e some emotional disorders, p i l f o r m cortex, hyper excitability, and amygdala dysfunction. So, now we find, now、uh, looking at the patients, then they Show s some emotional disorders, so maybe some correlation with mouse and human beings. And then we started 10 years ago the ATP1A3 gene knockout mice, and now I found that there's some real correlation, close correlation between mouse and human beings. So, for example, dystonia attack and also paralysis symptoms. And then I'm a mouse person, so I'm now doing the patch cramp techniques. So, making the brain,、uh, taking out the brain and the slice sections and do the, some cell to cell, one cell, one cell uh, connect, uh, communication using electrophysiological analysis and found that. Not only the sodium pump, but also other guys, I mean, co transporters, various co transporters defect we find. So I'm now hoping that the treatment and target of, target of the disorders maybe might be、uh, co transporter functions. I think so. I, I'm hoping that. So I will continue to till the end of my life. Of this knockout mice, but I really hope to some data for patients. I definitely think so. That's why I'm attending this meeting. Thank you very much. <laughs>